Hello, I'm Mr. Greg, and I'm at the Bull Run Library, and today we are going to be doing a, learning out how to make puffy paint. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is pretty intimidating to try to replicate this work of art, but I'm sure you guys can manage it, okay? So, puffy paint is a really fun craft. Uh, it just needs like two or three ingredients, and it gives you a nice little puffy uh, three-dimensional aspect to your art. So. All you need to do to create that is a container of some kind. I'm just going to use a cup and then you need glue and shaving cream. And then the last thing you'll need is food coloring. I'm just going to do one color right now, show you how it's done. But obviously you guys can create as many colors as you want. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my food, my shaving cream and my glue. I want about 50-50%. Uh, but you can adjust it as much as you want to make it. If you add more shaving cream, it's just going to be a little bit puffier. So you can get the proportion how you like it. So I put my shaving cream in here. I'm going to follow that up with my glue. Hopefully. Let's see. Ooh. See? There we go. Got my glue in there too. And then if I mix it up now, I get a nice white puffy paint. I'm going to add in my red right away. So as I'm mixing it, I'm gonna get the color I want. Uh, if you do wanna do more colors, uh, or I'm gonna get yellow, because that's easier to grab, I guess. Uh, if you do wanna do more colors, it's normally best to mix all a, a big batch of white color uh, paint, and then you can just split it up and add the colors to it. So I've got all my ingredients in here, and now here's the easy part. I'm just gonna stir it. to create my yellow puffy paint. Actually, I may have underestimated how much food coloring I need. So something like this, it looks like it's gonna need about five drops of food coloring. So we're gonna mix that up. And as you see, we've got a nice yellow puffy paint. Now once you've created your puffy paint, then you can just get a piece of paper. You, this is a construction paper. If you can get something thicker, it's good. Normal paper. This is a little bit hardy for that. But once you got that, you can use a paintbrush. You can use a spoon, knife. It's a little bit thicker, so you can use a variety of things to paint onto it. Uh, not only can you use this to create a masterpiece similar to mine, all by itself. This is a fun way to add a three-dimensional aspect to a piece of art. So if you have a kid who wants to draw balloons, you can then, after they've drawn and colored balloons, you can make those three-dimensional and add a fun aspect to that. So go ahead. Hopefully you guys can have fun with this and you have a wonderful day. Bye.